PHP Runner and ASPRunner.net version 10.8 is here. If this is your first time here or never heard of PHP Runner before, head over to xlinesoft.com to download your copy of this amazing software. Okay, let's see what is new in version 10.8. Here I have a standard project. Please note, I already defined all the tables and some charts. Now let's create a dashboard simply by clicking on the Create Dashboard button. We are now at the page designer of the new dashboard. I will add the monthly chart here by clicking on the Add Element button. Select the charts from the drop-down and click OK. Settings allow you to change things like width, height, refresh and master filter option. If you have more than one page for this chart, you can select the page here. OK, I will now add two more charts. probably already noticed the colors button on each element. This is a very handy element style editor. Here you change the colors or style for each element. There is also a preview of what the element will look like in terms of the header, body and footer. A very handy style selector quickly changes the style to one of the presets. You can now add code snippets and fully customize the appearance in a similar way. I will add an extra line of cells above the chart to demonstrate this. I select the cell and click the insert line above button. There are two columns. I split each cell of the top row so I have four cells in the first row. Now. Select the first cell, click on Add Element and select Code Snippet. Here you can add any valid code. I used the Database API to extract a single value from a database table and echo the result. I also set the header value within the same Code Snippet. Again, we can change things like the width and height within the settings button. Remove will delete the element. Use edit code if you need to work on the code of the snippet and finally colors to set the element style. Here I select warning as a style. Change the body background to blue. Body text to white. black border of 2 pixels wide. Note how the preview shows the final outcome or result in real time. Ok, I now have added 3 more code snippets to the dashboard. They are all very similar except for the header. Ok, let's see what we have so far. I sign on to the application and open the dashboard. What an amazing improvement. Another handy feature in version 10.8 is the Dashboard API. With this API you have access to any dashboard element. You can show, hide or reload individual elements on the fly. Let me demonstrate. Back to the page designer, I add a new cell under breadcrumb and add a custom button. We need to know the item ID of the element we would like to reload. 
I'm going to use the monthly chart as an example. I select the element and copy the item ID. Now select the button and edit the code. The client before and server events are empty. At the client after event, use the following code. Be sure to use the correct item ID. And as you can see, we will reload the chart. Okay, let's see how this works. We now have a button on the dashboard and if I click it, it refreshes the monthly chart only, exactly as expected. Next up is the font manager. For this, you can be on any page within the page designer. Select a field and you will have a list of fonts to choose from. But what if your favorite font is not on the list? You can now add either local or web fonts. To add a web font, go to fonts.google.com. Select your favorite font and copy the URL. Back at PHP Runner, select the font manager. It is this small letter A next to the font family drop down. Scroll down and click on Add New Web Font. Paste the URL you just copied from Google Fonts. Also, supply the font name and click OK. The new font is now at the bottom of the list and shows Web in the system column. Click OK. Now, with the field still selected, the new font will be available from the drop down list. Tabs and sections are used on Add and Edit pages. Here I am on an Add page in the Page Designer. I will add two sections and name them accordingly. I also split the first section into two cells. I now drag and drop the fields I want to appear here. The rest of the fields will go to the second section. It is now possible to prevent a section to be foldable. Simply untick Foldable of the selected section. I will leave a Foldable ticked for the second section. Again, element styles can easily be changed within the Colors button. I will change this style to Primary and the second section will be Success. It is as simple as that. I need the edit page to look the same, so I copy the layout from the add page to the edit page. Okay, let's see how it looks. And here you see both sections I just added. Note that the second section folds if I click on it, but the first one does not. Back at the project, go to Style Editor. When you select any listing page, we now have new grid style options. Various options including panel and grid colors allow for custom layout to suit your needs.
we are now able to export any chart in the project into different formats. Simply right click on the chart and make a selection. Here I export the chart to PDF. We can now show different pages between desktop and mobile devices. You can do this with any page, but I will take the dashboard as an example. The dashboard works well in desktop mode, but even though the application is fully responsive, it may need a different design for mobile devices. I have now created a new dashboard. I rename it to Dashboard Mobile. I change the layout to one column and add only two objects. Now go back to the first dashboard. Under the page properties, select Dashboard Mobile for on mobile show. On my desktop, the dashboard is still the same. But on my mobile device, the dashboard has changed. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think of the changes in version 10.8? Thanks for watching. Till next time.